So my name is Alicia Bush. Um, I am one of Dr. Pei's PhD students. So I'm from Colorado School of Mines. Um, my role in the project, I was kind of the will makeshift project manager um, right. as far as construction stuff went. I compiled all of like the BIM modeling and all that kind of stuff for the project, did all the structural drawings and everything. You were the person who helped me a ton when I was trying to, when I was making the scale oh, model gosh. of things. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the right yep. thing. Oh yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> um, yeah, and then I did some work uh, designing the gravity system as well as the foundation um, pieces. So kind of working to put all the pieces of the puzzle together, mm -hmm. if you will. Oh yeah. Um, so kind of coordination person, kind of putting everything in the bottle, seeing how it looks, mm -hmm. making sure we don't have any conflicts, um, all that kind of stuff. And then also worked on all the instrumentation as well. Wow. So yeah, I kind of had a hand in every pond of the project, so. <laughs> yeah, I know that like, like, managing project of this scale is it's daunting, so. Yeah. Like especially as a PhD student, how, how right. did you feel going into it? And now that it's, you know, into the testing phase, how are you feeling now? Right. Um, so at the time, you know, I didn't really, I guess it wasn't really planned for me to kind of have that role, at least for me personally. Mm -hmm. um, so I was kind of just like thrown into the fire saying like, okay, we need your help doing this. You're the one who knows it. So go ahead and help me. I worked really heavily with the, the construction side and everything helping them with the details because a lot of the details on the building aren't typical of what you'd see elsewhere. Yeah, they sure aren't. <laughs> uh, so they're very specialty and uh, a lot of the people who are working on the building and the construction side of things hadn't really worked with mass timber too much. Um, mm. So they didn't really know all the ins and outs of the connections and why things need to be a certain way. Um, so I worked a lot with the construction team. It's, um, so this phase of the project, um, I started working on it Whenever it was kind of in the initial phase it, or initial kind of startup, maybe project uh, as an undergrad. Wow. So yeah, I've been with it for a while. I think if you count my undergrad experience and everything, it's been like seven years. Yeah. Uh, so involved. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is like my my baby. So. That's awesome. <laughs> yes. So it's finally great to see all the competition and everything and see the testing and, you know, see it perform so well is also just a really great accomplishment. So. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> um, so you've got how much left on your PhD? Uh, yeah, so I'm done, actually. Yes. Yeah, I am graduating in two days. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Awesome. So we're going to, like, pop some champagne yeah. on the 10th and a half floor. <laughs> yeah. But, um, yeah, so I actually defended back in April. Okay, um, great. Yeah, so a little not ideal of the timing as we liked, like testing to be complete and everything, yeah. but, um, you know, it was just how it be from, so. Yeah, I mean, you, got, you had the wettest spring in yeah. San Diego's, like, past 75 years or something. So, yeah, you know. the weather has been honestly kind of crazy. It's just kind of funny. Everyone thinks you're going to San Diego, you're going to the beach, blue sky, sunshine. Like, actually, I think it's colder here in San Diego than it is. <laughs> yeah and like yeah. almost as wet as oregon it's yeah. been really nuts yeah it's definitely been crazy uh working in the rain the best thing but good for your mental resilience right <laughs> yeah thankfully we covered so that helps yeah we really lucked out with the weather today i was yeah. like please don't rain on yeah. me today <laughs> but yeah. everybody's coming but yeah it's been great yes yeah we really couldn't have asked for a better weather day Pretty nice. um yeah so one last question before we uh, get another victim here yeah um what do you kind of expect from the next experiments now that we've done the dog and pony show the circus right um we get into the real science right what are you, what are you expecting to see uh yeah so obviously we'll increase the magnitude of the earthquakes going with larger return periods so we're going to see bigger earthquakes um and at that point hopefully we can see the building perform as we designed it. Mm -hmm. um, so seeing the walls uplift and that sort of thing. And oh, wow. So, yeah, seeing the interaction between the walls and the structure itself. Um, and hopefully, you know, get to see maybe just a little more exciting things. Um, and, you know, it'll be great to see how the building does under that mini earthquakes. Mm -hmm. um, because typically when you design a building, you design it for one of these major events. Right. So seeing how the, earth, the structure does under so many of them will also be a really interesting thing. Um, and kind of get into some of the, you know, like low cycle fatigue properties. Oh, and yeah. Um, and yeah, kind of seeing how it all interacts together is something that's going to be super cool. 
Great. Um, yeah. 